Here is an overview of the items I'm using in this project. A 20 inch tinsel wreath. Uh, this sign right here, I know I'm going to get questions about. The red truck is from Dollar General. The sign is hand painted by me and I will have a tutorial how I made a couple of these hand painted Valentine signs. So be looking for that. I'm also using some 10 inch deco mesh and some very cute Valentine colored coordinated ribbons, these tinsel puffy hearts, and maybe some other things, but I'll share as I get to it in the video. Okay, this is the mesh that I'm using here in this video. So the 10 inch mesh is uh, from Hobby Lobby. Um, I have three rolls here only because I had that craft, that burlap in the snowball mesh. Um, I had one already open. So um, what I'm doing is I am just cutting um, the strips out at 20 inches and uh, I cut you know, 10 bundles of both of these together. And then that is what I'm just going to make like a curl or a tube or, uh, and then I'll make an X and I'll put that in 10 ties of this tinsel uh, wreath. Now the tinsel wreath I got, I picked up at Walmart um, after Christmas. And uh, when they had them on sale, I didn't spot them before they, they had them at, uh, you know, at Christmas. But after Christmas, as I was going through, you know, looking to see what they had, I'm, I found these uh, tinsel wreaths and I'm like, that would be perfect for Valentine's Day. <music> These tinsel wreaths like this from Walmart have more than 10, you know, ties on them. So I didn't put a, uh, you know, bundle in each tie, um, but I did put 10 bundles. Uh, so now I'm going to work on my ribbon. And like I've uh, said, I just have this board, this little gadget. It's a perfect tail board uh, from burlapboutique.com. And I just you know, measure out my ribbon. This uh, striped ribbon came from craftoutlet.com. And so I am, since I have 10 bundles, I need 10, uh, you know, sets of ribbon. So I am just measuring that out. And then what these little gadgets help do is just help wrap the ribbon. So you just do one cut. And so then uh, for the stripe, I usually leave my um, ends you know, straight, I don't dovetail on a stripe, not usually. Okay, this craft with our burlap with uh, the black checked edge is from Walmart. And that was in the Christmas section. I grabbed that early in the season because I knew that that would sell out. And uh, anyway, so I'm doing the same thing. I've, uh, you know, cut out 10 of those ribbons as well. Now this burlap, uh, I, in you know, black and white checked edge, I will a uh, dovetail. This red truck ribbon is from Craft Outlet as well. And I don't like to, you know, cut my trucks up. So I, you know, measure how long I need. And so I, you know, as you could see, I have three trucks that I cut out and I did not dovetail those. Okay, so then now I'm just um, laying out my ribbons and I am just, you know, figuring out which way I want them to be. Of course, I want the trucks on top. So I'm using my little tiny attacher stapler um, and that just helps speed up the process for me. This is just the way that I do things. I just have them all, you know, ready to go so that I can put them into the tinsel tie onto the wreath. And so then uh, this uh, one and a half inch pink ribbon is also from Craft Outlet. And then I'm just making two loops and, uh, you know, I'll staple it in the middle. And I kind of, this is just kind of my thought process. I just kind of like to have things ready to go. So then when I start putting it into the wreath, it is ready to go. So 
So here I will just fluff out my ribbons, just make sure that none of the tails are tucked underneath and just make sure everything is nice and, um, you know, laid out right. Okay, this is the wire I'm gonna use uh, for my sign and I'm sure I got it at Craft Outlet. That is one of my favorite places to get wire like this. It's a thicker wire. And uh, just to go along with the colors, um, I don't mind if, uh, you know, you can see my wire. I like make it a part of my project uh, by curling the ends, you know, uh, curling them up and just making sure that the wire is tucked underneath so that it doesn't, uh, you know, poke, but I just curl it on top of each other and, uh, you know, just make it cute and part of the wreath. These glittery hearts are from Dollar Tree or Dollar General. And I just, you know, secure them, glue them into the wreath, just making sure that they're secure. Now, these little pipe cleaners are uh, just a little different texture to them. I'm sure I got them at Hobby Lobby, of course. And I just like to add them to my wreaths like this. If it is something fun, like Valentine's Day, it adds a little uh, whimsical touch to it, a little cuteness. So just wrapping the pipe cleaner around my finger, I just make a curly cue. Okay, now for this little bow, I have this ribbon is from Hobby Lobby and I just take one of those pipe cleaners and I am just, you know, making a bow and that is what I'm going to put in the middle of my heart uh, for, you know, just to finish off this wreath. These little puffy heart decor are also from the Dollar Tree. I just take one of those and I want it to be a bit more flat so that I can stick it in between, you know, the heart. So I just hot glue that there and uh, I just love the way that this wreath turned out. Now, if you would like to uh, see how I painted the heart sign for the truck, I'm going to show you that next. My wood base is this heart from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna give it two coats of plaster color chalk paint and let that dry. Then I am going to use just black acrylic paint and a half inch flat paintbrush. And I am just going to do a border. Um, I've been doing this for, you know, for several years. It is some God-given talent and, uh, you know, it's not perfect, but yet I just, you know, if I make a mistake, I will just cover up my mistakes with some paint. And, uh, so that's why I just like to encourage, you know, other friends that are watching this just to not give up. Okay. So then now I'm just taking my fan brush and just doing some stripes, just kind of like a faux plaid or a faux buffalo check or you know just some stripes and so then I'm just using some fuchsia paint and the end of a, a flat paintbrush and just doing some dots just in between each of those black uh, stripes <music> Then using some primary red color and a quarter inch flat paintbrush, I am just going around the edges and uh, not being very perfect, just kind of doing like a doodling or a, you know, curved line. I like that look. It kind of looks whimsical. And uh, so it just kind of, to me, it kind of helps uh, with the space in between the plaid border and the black and white um, stripe border. So then that is how that looks just like that. And uh, then to add some shading, I'm using this milk chocolate colored uh, brown paint and just uh, that half inch flat paint paintbrush. I dip half of my brush in paint, the other half in clean water. I blend on a paper towel. And so then I just go around, uh, you know, the heart and uh, in the places that I would like to add some shading and distress. Thank you. 
I'll use my ultra fine Sharpie marker and just go around just to add some more dimension. This is something that I like to do for my projects. It uh, adds a bit of whimsy. I like, like a whimsical uh, projects and uh, I think that the black marker just kind of enhances it. Um, as I go along. I'm also going to be doing some splatter paint because y'all know if you've been following me for any length of time you know that I love my splatter paint and uh, I do it with a stiff stencil brush and uh, a stick but a lot of friends say they use an old toothbrush or uh, just use their finger. So then now I have the truck I got from Dollar General. It's a metal truck and so I just took off the wire because I don't need that and then I glue on on, uh, just some tumbling tower blocks or some jingle blocks that I get at uh, the Dollar Tree and I'm going to use a combination of E6000 as well as some hot glue. The E6000 uh, is a permanent hole and the hot glue helps set it up you know uh, so I can work with it. Mm -hmm. 